I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. Take a good hard look at this ship. Hello there, everybody. This is Seawop the Platinum One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. This is part 15, meaning if I finish this part here and now, I've officially filled my quota for when I'm on Denver vacation. Last time, uh, we did some things around Gruntilda's Lair, and we opened up the way to this next world, which is Rusty Bucket Bay, where things are polluted and things are more polluted than usual. So, anyway, now we can continue onward in our little escapade through, you know, uh, Rusty Bucket Bay. So, anyway, I'm trying to figure out how the heck do I even get there? Is there even a ladder? Is there even a thing that I can climb up upon? I do not think so. So right over there is uh, the code that you're supposed to figure out last time at the tail end of the last video. So yeah, there's your code. Write it down, kiddies, unless you uh, paid attention to me at all, which I hope you did. Because then, if you didn't pay attention to me, well, what the heck is wrong with you? You need to go back to school. But uh, regardless of which, uh, we have notes, and you know what? Since we're not going anywhere for for a while, we might as well we might as well go and uh, do this right now. Yeah, might as well. But before we do so, outside of the ship time, so uh, areas, 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 areas. So there are four of these music notes on here. Might as well go get them, because why not? But, uh, unfortunately, I do think there's a... Wait, hold on. Is there a Jinjo down there? Because instinct tells me that there is. Maybe. Because I really do hope there is not a Jin... I think there is a Jinjo. Yep. There's a Jinjo down there. Crap. In a bucket. I'm gonna lose air twice as fast now, because, again, swimming underwater is a bad thing in this level. And swimming in the water is also not a good thing in this level, also. And I'm almost out of air. Come on. There we go. So, with that, now we can actually do the ship thing, unless... Nope, okay. So now we can actually explore the ship... This is probably the first thing you would explore. Like, the ship. So, first things first, you want to go... Uh, actually not here, but up here and over here. First, I just want to get the jiggies on the outside of the ship. Because if you know this game well enough as it is, well, you can go inside things. And, you know, evil life preservers are here as well. So, yeah, that's also a thing. Evil life preservers. What? Do you think that life preservers save you? They don't. Because Grunty made them evil. That's how they do. That's obviously how they do. But, uh, regardless. Anyway, mumble token right there. And now let's continue on our little journey up the ship. Because, uh, we do want to go up to the very tippy top of the ship. Also pipes. They're evil. Would you, would you expect anything else at this point from this game? Would you? If you said yes to that question, then congratulations, you played Banjo-Kazooie for your entire life. Um, but anyway, uh, right here you got more notes here across this walkway. And if you go up here, you'll find another ladder. Basically, we're trying to reach the very top of the ship. So there's another- wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Almost fell- ho ho! Almost fell for that. Yeah, I almost fell for that. But nope. Uh, experience has taught me never to look behind a corner ever again. AKA Mad Monster Mansion. Mad Monster Mansion happened. Um, but up here, you'll find a jiggy up here. Da 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 dum bum. Duh. -huh. Yeah. So, now that we've done that sort of thing. Um, how do I do, how do I do this from here? 
How do it do? How do I do? Um, yeah, yeah, I think I'm, I think actually now's about the time we do the out, the inside of the ship. Wouldn't you say, kiddies? Wouldn't you say? So, basically the whole thing of exploring the ship is trying to find out which ones are breakable and what, which windows are breakable and which ones are not. And which pipes you can go down to and which ones you can't. Obviously, if the pipes try to eat you, obviously those are the ones you can't go through. But, if it's the ones that you can go through, then they won't eat you. So, I guess you can say thank god for pipes. For that. Yeah. But of course, you'll want to explore every every inch of this. Because again, you want to explore them. As much as possible. Right, so... It appears that we've gotten everything in here that is important. So, why don't we say we go take this pipe, these pipes up back to the top. And I believe that was just a gold feather. Yeah, that was just a gold feather. But uh, anyway, the red pipes with the evil eyes are evil. Do not, do not go near them because then you'll be eaten. Thankfully you won't die, but hey, it's something. Anyway, you're going to find a lot of these little interesting things, like these beds here, all these workers going to work, and a poster of Conquer also. Which my friend Sailor does not like at all. He's probably going to flip when he sees that. Yeah. How could they reference that? I don't know. But uh, if you look on these drawings, uh, nothing really too spectacular to look at there. But uh, hey. Thank you. Thank you for, thank you for disappearing into oblivion and... Yeah, thank you for disappearing into oblivion. But uh, yeah, there's plenty of Easter eggs to other rare rare games like that, including the rare rare symbol on there, because self promotion is obviously the way to go if you want to make a reference to a to a Vita game, to a video game. That's that's the main reason. But anyway, if you know this music, you are absolutely going to loathe. You're absolutely going to lose what the heck comes next. But, obviously we're not going to do that yet. We are not going to do that quite yet. Instead... Wait. Wait, hold on. Hold the... There we go. There we go. Trying to get that extra honeycomb piece right there. Just want to get this right now, just so that we won't have to deal with it later. So, thankfully we won't have to deal with it later. Didn't go on without talking so much. Uh, because I don't know what to say. Like, we're just, keep, we're just keep on going through here, so... Yeah. Anyway, trying to find another window. Uh, you'll know which ones to break... If you see them protruding out from the background, I guess. You'll know that that's a thing you want to go... T that's a room you want to go into... When it's protruding out into the wall like that. So, right here we got another Jiggy. And, don't worry guys, I studied this time. I looked up on IGN, they know the answers to everything. I know this because I'm a trained Navy SEAL. They they are actually Navy SEALs on here. And they have a nice little cute little bed thing where all these anchors and uh, steering wheels and all that junk. Yeah. They have all these neat little things that just makes these pirate themed. Just pirates. Arr. Except we already had that in uh, Treasure Trove Cove, so yeah. But anyway, step in this oven. Stupid bear! You'll have to learn! That red hot ovens tend to burn! Yeah, I realize that now. Thank you for telling me. You're you're an upstanding young individual. And I respect you. You're gonna find more eggs in there. Kind of appropriate seeing how we're actually in the kitchen of the rusty bucket bay. Yeah. But, we right, here's the thing, though. We don't know what the name of the ship is. It's a grand old mystery. Hmm. Maybe it has a name somewhere. I don't know. And we'll probably never know? Question mark? I want to say question mark because I'm pretty sure... Oh, wait, wait! Aww. Which brings me to over here. Which brings me to over here. I'm gonna find this dolphin trapped. I'm trapped! Help! Give me this thing, Snarkle! Or whatever. Yeah. Just... Hold... 
hold your fire on that thing. And yeah, I'm losing twice as air. Help. My phone number is 123. Help. Um. 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 Help. Help. Please. Okay, good. Good. We made it. We made it. We're good. We are calm. But anyway, yeah, that's the Rusty Bucket, actually. <laughs> that's the actual name of the thing. Rusty Bucket. Yeah. I think that's it. But anyway, um, another thing we can do on the ship is actually to kill that life preserver. Never thought you'd say that in the see, hear that in the video game. And uh, you want to go over here. Because I tried to go here last time. That, uh... But nope. We don't. What this leads to is another mumble token. But, more importantly, is over here. You're going to find yourself a little pipe that you can go down. Over here. And what you want to do for here is to actually not only get these music notes, but you want to step on the little switch. And yeah, you're going to want to remember those. For that is the bane of every Banjo player's existence ever. Just gonna preemptively say that right now. It is the bane of everyone's existence that has ever played this game. Right the heck now, okay. So I am seriously hoping there's like a ladder somewhere because I know there's a I know there's a way to do so. Oh wait, mumble token. There is a way. I know there's like a way to get there, but how do how do it do? Is the question is is the question that I do ask? Yeah. Nah, screw it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. All right. So I'm assuming that uh, we have to uh, talent trot. I suppose talent trot. Uh, nope. Nope. No talent trotting is allowed. Ah, wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful, I'm gonna die again, but I'm not because there's a ladder over here. But uh, I'm thinking, how the heck do I even do? How the heck does this even do? Am I supposed to like do something over here? Is 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 there a way to get here from there? Is there a way to get there from there? Is there a way to do things from here? Huh. But if I do indeed find a way, I shall I shall notify. I shall notify you. Jeez, jeez, Jesus, man. Jesus, man. Da, 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 movies, 80, 80s ending. Oh, okay, so apparently according to this thing, uh, you need to protrude, you need to feed the toll road more eggs than you normally would on the toll road number two. That requires two eggs in order to protrude the platform out even further so you can get the mumble token and the gold feathers. Ah, so that's what I meant. Ah, and you know what? That gives me a bit of an idea on how I can remember to do this. I got an idea. And nope, my idea failed. Okay. So it doesn't require more eggs then. But anyway, I do know of one thing that we can do with this uh, crane. Which is to charge it and open up that thing to get a jiggy but I do believe we have a time limit yes we do so you need to get it within 16 seconds 16 seconds to save the world fortunately unfortunately you don't have running shoes so you know what we're dive bombing for this thing ow crappy yellow come on come on come on, come on. get it get it get it. yes might it Made it, son. I laugh in the face of adversity. Ha 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 ha. I laugh in your face, game. I laugh in your face. How the heck do I even get there? Ah. I see. So, yeah. Apparently, you have to climb up all the way over here. And, uh, you have to climb up this thing. And, eventually, you'll reach the crane. Thank you that I noticed that. Thank you that I know, Zed. Otherwise, we would have another round of Mad, Mad Monster Mansion. Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be my new thing. Because if I don't find things in, like, five minutes, 
then I'm gonna have then we're gonna have another Mad Monster Mansion episode that we're gonna go on here. Yep. Fortunately, this won't take as long this time, thankfully. And thankfully, the path the path zigzags, so there could be a probable chance that you will fall. I'm I'm supreme I'm supremely thankful for that. And also this one too. But uh, anyway, uh, I now we have to cross this path so we can get another Jinjo. But you know what? I'm I'm running. I'm running for it by being invincible. And that's every Jinjo. For whatever reason, I thought there was a Jinjo under ship and under the ship, and they'll be like, "That'd be stupid." So, yeah. Glad I found all the Jinjos, though. That would have been weird. That would have been weird to see. But, regardless, now we actually have a little bit of a thing to do. So now with this crane, we have to charge into that thing. And that will cause the box to drop. And we open the way to that thing. Fortunately, there's no time limit, so you can go ahead and do whatever you like. And proceed on however you may wish. Because that sentence totally makes sense. But if you notice up there, we have a grunty switch. So I'm hoping I can make that. Whoop. Come on. Yes. Right. So with that, we unlock another Jiggy in Grunty's lair. And believe it or not, I believe that's Jiggy number 9 for Gruntildo's Lair. Jeez. That's how far we've come, folks. But, anyway. They give us all these eggs. Why? Because right here... Is the boss level. Who dares enter Boss Boombox's hold? I've hidden my jigsaw. You'll never get it. Well, I'ma get it because I'm gonna shoot these eggs at ya. I'm gonna shoot the eggs. And I he just has his face like, oh Whoa. So basically put you have to keep on shooting eggs at him. Alternatively, you can use uh, gold feathers to do your dirty work. So this is where that uh blue egg cheat will come in handy for you. So so you basically literally have him cornered against a wall. But uh eh, whatever, I'm I'm going for it. I'ma go for it. I'm a I'ma do it. Yeah! How do you like that? You jerk! Erg! You splintered me! Take this! I didn't want it, really. Sure you didn't. I believe you. I'm inclined to believe every word that a boss battle says. Because I'm just a, that good of a guy. But, um... Anyway... We have that sorted out. So. Now, where do we need to go next? Well, we can always do the engine room. Then again. Although. Nah. I don't wanna. I know wanna. But, I have to eventually. But, since we're right here. Might as well do it. The engine room. The very bane of every Banjo-Kazooie player's existence. Why? Because you're gonna have to do some tight platforming here. And of course, that happens. This first part is not really so bad here, you know. Just, uh, you just gotta time your jumps perfectly. Just gotta time your jumps, man. But here's where it starts to get kinda sorta weird. Here's the point where it gets really, uh, tricky. Particularly on the moving portions. So, basically, for this first Jiggy that you want to get, it's not really so bad. But, trust me, you want to explore this place. And you want to do so without dying. In the original N64 version. Thankfully, thankfully because you won't die... Thankfully, because dying literally means no consequence in the 360 port of this game, it's, like, it's not really so bad. Because, again, notes, notes are saved. 
But trust me, in the original version, this is where people got really pissed at the game. Just trust me on that fact. This is where people got really, really pissed at the game. Because, well, you have all these moving gears and platforms and all sorts of, you know, stuff that you have to, that you have to maneuver through. And, yeah, it can get really tight platforming and stuff. So, yeah, with all these gears moving at such a really fast rate and you basically waiting in order to basically get a chance at, you know, getting to the proper platforms. Yeah, it, it's... It's, it's, it's just really tough. It's really tough. But, thankfully, I'm playing the 360 version where everything is all smooth and the camera is better. Plus, dying means no consequence. So, this is basically the reason why I decided, well, one of two reasons. This is basically the re, this is basically the whole reason why I decided to even play the 360 version in the first place. It's because of the, it's, you know, because of the sole fact that, you know, that, uh, dying means that your notes are basically auto-saved anyway. Dying means nothing except, you know, losing lives and not your best note score. And, uh, the other reason why I didn't play the, decide to play the original, uh, N64 version is, well, I don't have the original version anymore. <laughs> I just, uh, it, it got lost in the time. It got lost in time. Yeah. It got lost in the, in the matter of time. But trust me, this is, if you're, if you're playing along with the original version, this is where things got really sort of cheap. And also with these switches as well. With those switches as well, because, well, basically put, I put up those fans, I pressed those switches that, that stopped the fans for a short time. And you know what? Yeah, that has a time limit too. So, in addition to all of those, to these sort of parts in the engine room, you have to deal with a time limit that could potentially earn you a jiggy. And it, yes, and it does indeed earn you a jiggy. So, you want to do this quickly, as quickly as possible. Yeah, because if you don't, you're gonna have to go through the engine room again, and you don't want that, do you? Yes, you don't want that. No siree, you don't. So anyway, make it over here as fast as possible, because I think this is the wrong... Actually, this is the right way. Okay, thank God, this is the right way. So, the fans on are over here. And of course, you have to swim underwater. Because apparently this game just hates your guts. It hates your guts a lot. Yes, it does. Now, the last Jiggy that we're going to go after... The last one is, well, we gotta save the dolphin. But just how do we do that is the question. How will we save that dolphin? How will things go about? Well, you're gonna find out next time because I'm a jerk. <laughs> anyway, next time on Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie, we're going to finish Rusty Bucket Bay, thank God. And we're going to, well, do Gruntilda's Lair things. Obviously. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.